Hi, my name's Helen. This is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. I am, I'm a bit self-conscious doing that now because um, the video I did with my mum that went out yesterday, everybody loved, well, everybody that commented loved. I'm sure there's lots of people that just scrolled on. She, <laughs> as I went to do it, she said, can't you do something else? That's got really boring, which is one of the things I was laughing at. So um, I don't know what to say to that really. I mean, you know, it's kind of my introduction and um, yeah, anyway, that's mum all over. You know, that's mum's all over, I guess. Um, so I've, it, this won't be a long, long video because um, I wasn't gonna do one today, but um, I needed to come on and do a little bit of housekeeping. Um, because we've had those scammers again on the site. So people that comment, then this bot, I don't even know what that means, but I suppose, is it like robot? I don't know. But anyway, you know, it's it's like artificial intelligence. I think they just um, skim YouTube and uh, scrape YouTube. <laughs> I'm using language I don't really understand. But anyway, it's just, they're just scammers. And they come on and they, they kind of have got my name in their name and my picture, my photo, and they say, you know, you've won a prize. I will never, ever, ever do a prize draw on my YouTube channel. I might do one one day on Instagram, but I will never do it on YouTube. So if you get anything like that, anything dodgy, just there's three dots at the top and you just click on there and you report them and it says like different things and it's the one for spam. So please do that. I do it as soon as I'm alerted, but it is a bit of a job. You know, I have to go back through, through, through and um, and get rid of those blimmin' nuisances. Make me sick, really. Just go away. Um, the other thing on comments, well, while you're commenting, if you haven't subscribed, can you subscribe, please? Um, but... You know, when um, YouTube changed the way you had your name displayed, and I think it must have been that if you didn't choose a name, they gave you a name and it's like user XPZA15 something or other. And that's fine, but there's loads of you with those kind of handles. And so I don't get to know you is all I'm saying. It's absolutely fine if you want to kind of stay like that. That's That's absolutely fine, but... You know, if your name is like Mary or Jean or Jeanette or something, I kind of start to feel like I get to know you a little bit. Totally up to you, but there's that. Second of all, if you comment on a comment, I can't reply to the first comment. My reply automatically goes to the second comment. So I'm not ignoring your comment. It's just that that's how YouTube works. And um, also if you reply to a comment, then that doesn't come through to me as a unresponded comment. So if I ignore it, that's not deliberate. And um, if you really want to say something, you need to say it in a new comment or go onto my Instagram and you can direct message me there. I'm still reading absolutely every single comment because it's lovely, mostly. <laughs> I had a dodgy one yesterday, which I'll tell you about. And um, I've replied to every single one in some form or another so far which has been thousands so thank you thank you so much for taking the time to comment i really do appreciate it and mum had so many really lovely comments and uh, i've encouraged her to read them because she's like oh they're ridiculous you know but um we all get more invisible as we get older and i think it's quite important that she sees how well received her video was so that's those two things the other thing I wanted to say was my plan is to go live tomorrow, which is Friday the 10th of February at 9pm London time. So that's 9pm GMT and I will put that in the description box and uh, wish me luck. I don't know if it's brave or foolhardy or whether I'll just be talking to myself. So the idea is that you can ask me questions and we'll have a little chat and uh, hopefully we'll have a, a nice time kind of talking to each other in real time. You can ask me anything you like. I don't necessarily mean I'll answer it, but I will um, 
endeavour to to answer what I can. Then I just wanted to, I think that was all the housekeeping, if I think of anything. I haven't written anything down. Oh, I was just in Hedge End because, oh, I'm so stupid. I bought the £20 delivery package from Marks and Spencers where I could get everything delivered next day. And then didn't I get it on Click and Collect? So I had to go down to Hedge End. But then it was really fortuitous. I think they call it serendipity. And I was walking between Marks and Sainsbury's. There's a big, big, huge Marks and Spencer and a superstore Sainsbury's there. And I was walking between the two kind of indoors. And I had admired this lady's style. I just thought, oh, she looks nice. And then I heard, hello, hello. And I didn't know it was for me anyway. It was one of my subscribers. So that was so lovely. Honestly, I was chuffed to bits. So if you're watching, thank you. Thanks for coming up and saying hello. It was really nice to meet you. And uh, have, we had quite a little chat, actually. So never be shy of that. I mean, yeah, if you see me, just say hello. I'm just me. Um, yes, yeah, so that was good. And then I just thought I'd show you a couple of bits I bought in... Um, in Sainsbury's so I'm going for lunch with a friend tomorrow so I bought this for her it's a really nice container I must admit it's my colorway really more than hers but um and it's got cornflower seeds in it and there's like this disc you just water and um she loves she loves flowers and gardening and everything so I thought that was quite a nice you know it's kind of all contained everything's in there the soil the seeds and everything else it's for indoors so I thought that was quite cute that was seven pounds and then I bought this I am an absolute sucker for stationery and um I've got a family member who's going through a bit of a rough time at the moment um with her mental health and I have had several bouts of really bad depression in my time and um one of the things that I found so so helpful honestly like really helpful was journaling and I saw this little set in Sainsbury's and it came in this zip up pouch here and it's got um a lovely pen and this little ruler and the elastic binding and then it's just lined but it's got two ribbons and I found journaling writing down how I felt one of the most effective things I did to recover and uh, I used some code in there in case anybody picked it up at a later date and I just used to put down all of my thoughts and how I was feeling and um, I think it worked better than anything else that I did I didn't the last bout I had, I didn't take antidepressants. I didn't like how they made me feel. Um, and there is an argument that says that you get better in the same kind of time with, with or without the antidepressants. And I I didn't like the feeling that I was just kind of numbed by, by them. You know, whatever works for you. I'm not an, a medical expert. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying what my experience was. And I thought that was a really lovely little set. And, you know, she can keep any other little bits and bobs in, in that little, it's like a little mesh bag. I thought it was rather lovely. That was £12. So I'll be posting that off to her um, tomorrow. I was, yeah, it was just what I was looking for. I thought, oh, I'll get her a notebook and pen. And, uh, yeah, anyway, so I got that. And this is a bit of an odd one to show you. But I, I didn't know about these, so I'm just sharing them, you know. I don't know why, really, but um, there we are. Friends and all that. So I, with um, the oestrogen treatment, I have found that I've needed a little bit of a liner in my pants. And um, I've started playing badminton with a friend of mine. And... Um, the muscle that gets the biggest workout is, well, we do table tennis and badminton and the muscle that gets the biggest workout is actually my sphincter. So anyway, but I saw, I found these, tenor, and they're black. Isn't that much nicer? 
like I mostly in the winter wear black pants and so so much nicer to have black liners so anyway ladies I don't know if you were already all aware of that but um I thought that was much nicer than than a white liner in your knickers just saying like you know what we have to stop making these things taboo my mum will die but hopefully she won't watch it and then I wanted to show you these products and I was gifted these and uh, I, it's not a company I've ever heard of, it's a company called, and I don't know how you actually pronounce this, I don't know if it's Leah or Leha, Le, Le, Leah, I'm saying Leah and um, they have given me this lovely, it's called Edan oil, Edan oil, Edan oil. I should have found this out. I don't know how you found out, find out how something's pronounced when it's kind of made up, if you know what I mean. And um, this candle. And honestly, the smell is so divine. It's tuberose, tub tuberose. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm saying that right even. And this is like a solid oil, but you can... Um, like put it into the bottle into warm water and let it melt. So some of the, the bottle is melted. I've used a tiny little bit already and you just can massage it into your skin. So you can use it, you can use it on your hair, you can use it on your face, you can use it on your body. And I've, I've really got dry skin at the moment and oh, it smells so good, so good. It's it's really lovely. And then the candle. So I'm going to have a bath tonight and, and put this on. And um, it's supposed to be... Well, it's a bit of a contradiction, actually, because it's supposed to help you sleep. It's also an aphrodisiac. So <laughs> make sure I do it after Rob's gone to bed. Um, I don't know if it... Would it be an aphrodisiac for him or for me? If I'm, it'd be for him, wouldn't it? If I'm wearing it, I don't know. But anyway, hopefully he won't spend it when he's asleep. But it's so gorgeous and rather, rather stylish, I think. So that's tuberose as well. So that is just beautiful. Um, it's It's gone into my skin so nicely and it's good for your nails. You know, it's kind of just an all-purpose oil, really. Um, so... Oh, I see. It says Yoruba, meaning magic. It's coconut oil fragrance with tuberose. The natural product solidifies in cooler temperatures and then um, melts when it's warmer. And you can use it on your hair, nails, body and face. So it's multi-purpose and the smell is absolutely gorgeous. And I can see that um, helping me nod off. So what I would do, obviously, I'm not going to leave the candle burning. So I would light that in the bathroom. Uh, we've got an ensuite. So if I leave the door open, the smell will waft into the um, our bedroom. And that says uh, African Moss Candle. Anyway, I just thought they were really lovely products. Really lovely packaging too. Um, all sustainable. And um, very smart. So I think I've got a discount code and I'll leave that in the description box below this video. And um, yeah, so those were the bits that I bought um, in Sainsbury's. And then I popped into Marks and Spencer and I had tried to get these jeans online and they were sold out in my size. But they're these lovely... That's that's not stitched in. I don't like a stitched in pleat, but they're called um, cigarette pants. Now, I am hoping these will fit. They've got a fair bit of um, give in them and they're in that lovely, very dark blue, which is my favourite because they look very smart. So I'm going to try those on for you. I also I'm, I'm aware that I don't want to get um, any oil on anything. Um, I picked up, these were what I had delivered and these are a wide high rise jersey trouser 
I'm going to try these on. Um, these are only £17.50. I'm going to try these on. I've got a black vest on under here and I'm going to try these with my um, cabaret jacket and see if, if they do the job. And then the other thing I've got, which I'm not sure about now that I've got it, is this um, dress. A lot of people have said about um, tears, not liking tears. So this one is kind of ruched here. A nice, nice sleeve. Oh, look, it's got like all pin tucks on the sleeve. And that was £45. And um, I think you have to be a bit careful when you get older. Not, because I think a young girl in this would just look like a pretty young girl. I might look like my granny did when she was kind of 50. So, you know, I'll be aware of that. Oh, the other... <laughs> I said I'd say about that comment and, oh God, I'm rambling on again. Oh dear, I'm shocking, aren't I? But um, one lady, she said, um, about, I can't remember what video it was. And she said, walking with um, a strange gait and slurring her words, very peculiar or very suspect or something about me. So I started off, I said, what's that supposed to mean? And then I just thought, oh, flew off. So I just removed her from the channel. I mean, she tried to infer that I was drunk. I don't know. I don't know where people get off. I mean, really, that's almost, um, libelous isn't it but anyway whatever I, I i kind of thought well explain yourself and then i thought oh, i'm not giving you the time of day but anyway so i'll quickly pop on the trousers i'll do the jeans then the trousers then the dress and uh, hopefully it won't take too long sorry i've got the jeans on but i can't get them done up which is really really annoying um, I don't understand the sizing because the trousers I've just taken off are an 18 um, from M&S and they fit no problem whatsoever. And um, yeah, I, and you know, they had the 20, but like I didn't want to get a 20 because I, I, you know, I've lost a bit of weight and I really thought that the 18 would fit and then the 20 would be too big on my waist. But I saw a really good um, hack of how to take the waist in neatly. Um on Facebook or somewhere. Anyway, I'll show you what the leg looks like. I mean, I like, I literally, I can't even do the waist up. You know, there's, um, yeah. Oh, I had this whole look in my head, you know, cause I kept that pink blue boot clay jacket from um next and i really thought that i was gonna look something but i can't get them done up so i'm not gonna look anything am i and it's a blooming nuisance because now i've got to take them back but i'm up in london next week so i'll take them back there anyways so that's frustrating these are the short and, and you can see they are quite short actually do you see that I um I do really like them, so I might actually get them in a 20 and just take them in. Um, if they need to be taken in, they might not need to be taken in. Anyway, that's the um, cigarette pants uh, from m and I'll just go and pop the uh, black wide leg jersey ones on now. So I've got my cabaret jacket on again. And... Um, even my mum quite liked this one. Well, she sort of did, but she kind of pulled a bit of a face because she hates animal print and sparkle. Anyway, I really like it. So as I said, I'm 65, you know, I can do what I like. But um, yeah, so I've just kept my black vest on underneath and then I put on some heels, the ones that I got from Cala, the company that works with people with difficult, you know, bunions and things. And uh, the trousers fit lovely. So I'll just, I could, my mic's not working. So I'll, um, 
I'll just walk away and then you can think. I'll just uh, tip this down a little bit. So they're a wide leg, but they're, I mean, God, they're incredible for £17.50. They, they look pretty good. Um, I'm even tempted to buy these. I think they do them in navy blue. I might buy them for the uh, journey because you've got a hell of a long journey. And I will tell you all about the holiday next week because um, I'm going up to get the do the jewellery collaboration next week. So um, I'll kind of talk about that with with that. So. I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear the vest top with it, but I've got, you know, loads of little black tops or a black blouse or whatever. And uh, I think that looks quite she-she. And, you know, I have got the diamante bows that I could wear on the, the front of these as well. So, um, yeah, so I'm very pleased with the trousers. Um, so I'll just pop the dress on and we'll go from there. I'm trying to do this quite quickly because Rob's about to walk in any second with the dog and I don't need that. So I've just popped this dress on. Um, it's an 18 regular, but I've just realized it's actually polyester. Why would they make a summer dress in polyester? I don't know. I mean, it's pretty, but the polyester part of it, that's it. I mean, no way would I be keeping it. Um, it fits very well. I actually did put it on without undoing the zip. I'll probably have to undo the zip to take it off because I can push these down that way, but you get the picture. So it's got this little ruching detail here. It's just, it's pretty good um, as figure flattering goes. I haven't got any shoes on with it. Nice, nicely fitted, um, but like I say, the polyester now, I don't, I don't know why I didn't see that. You know, I think I just saw a short sleeve summer dress and just absolutely assumed that it would be at the very least viscose or a mix, but certainly not 100% polyester. So I, 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 can't, I can't imagine when they were in the design meetings that somebody said, it's polyester. Is that just me? I mean, who wants a polyester dress in the summer? Like pure polyester. It's one thing of an evening dress. But this is not an evening dress. It's got a zip down the back. Like I said, I didn't undo it. And it's, it's nice. It's a nice length. It's pretty. But it's a no from me. So that was it for today. Um... Like I'll be on tomorrow, nine o'clock alive. So I hope you can join me and uh, hopefully we'll have a bit of fun. It might be a complete disaster, but um, wish me luck. If you can't, if you can't join me, then wish me luck. And if it's a success, a success, I'll do it again. And if not, I won't. So thanks so much for watching as ever. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.